Hey everyone, and welcome to Store Championship Season in Rochester. My name is Tim. And this is Brandon. And we're here at Just Games. Uh, it's a relatively new store in the eastern suburbs of Rochester uh, for their store championship, which happened back in February. And I believe the latest legal pack was Caligoda for this. Yep. Yep, so a little bit of the Mumbad stuff going on. Uh, and on the left, we've got Chris, who's playing Kate. And then on the right is Kevin playing a harpsichord. So when you see these IDs these days, what are you thinking? The kill, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> harpsichord is definitely trying to <laughs> blow some stuff up. And what about Kate? What do you what do you think is like the? I mean, post most wanted list, Kate. Anything is really up in the air. Yeah. I mean, if it was pre, you would think prepaid easy. Right. Um, but with post, I I don't even venture to guess. But yeah, uh, Chris is running. At yeah. This point. Yeah. I've seen stealth has been going around a little bit. Some stuff with mm -hmm. security nexus. So we'll see what Chris is up to these days. Mm -hmm. And um, looks like they're thinking about mulligans. Yeah. And getting them away. So yeah, we had uh, I think it was 14 people turn out for this tournament. Uh, so pretty good. For this is a kind of a smaller shop. You guys give the, the thumbs up. So we're we're into the game here. Oh, there it is. Okay, and we saw a modded. Oh, he's yeah, he's definitely killing people. <laughs> we saw <a> news team. <laughs> oh man, the turn one breaking news. Kevin likes to start very aggressive. Yeah. Uh, he Kevin Kevin's a very aggressive player mm -hmm. and very strong. So mm -hmm. yeah, and it's back. Uh, Expect to be punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and he sees the news team, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's usually what you want to, this deck, especially with the two ones, you really just want to score them as soon as you see them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so that's a tech writer, and he's modding out a magnum opus. So seeing opus makes me think it's probably the security nexus thing going on. I know usually, like, the stealth doesn't have memory for it. There are some other things going around with opus, so. But the tech writer seems like he wants to install more things. I mean, yeah, that's true. The eight cost console. Yeah, that's true. So we'll have to see. It looks like still not seeing a ton in hand. So yeah. <laughs> Kevin is forced to ice up a little bit on R and D there. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing with this harpsichord is they score two of those breaking news and then you're on the clock yep. immediately. It's dig for that plastic. <laughs> it's so nerve wracking. Yeah. Yeah, and I know you play you play against Kevin a lot, yes. and you play a lot of shapers. So, what are yes. you usually trying to do against this deck? Against this one, um, digging R and D. Um, hopefully, you can come up with um, with you know at least one of those breaking news early. Mm -hmm. um, you know, lately I've been uh, playing a lot of Haley, okay, and uh, kind of a pseudo pitchfork variant uh, with the. You know the, the artist colony and mm -hmm. the film critic. Oh, okay, so you have a little protection. It helps a lot. Um, it still hurts getting hit as hard <laughs> yeah. in the face with with meat damage. So, uh -huh. That's so easy. okay, yep, it is rabbit holes. The... <laughs> so we're we're going nexus. So yeah, For I guess sure. the tech writer with the the rabbit holes works out pretty nicely. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it ends up so saving bad. you a little bit on each of them. Mm-hmm. So actually, this is interesting, though, because we saw a mid-season in Kevin's hands, and with three rabbit holes and Kate on the board... Mid-season's not going to happen. Yeah, getting that money, especially with Opus already out there, getting that advantage yeah. is going to be really tough, I think. It is not going to happen. <laughs> so he's probably just going to rely on 24-7 new cycling out of this one. Mm -hmm. Which I think Marcus, who's another guy who appears in a lot of these videos, I think his record, he killed me turn three with one of these Harpers Accord decks. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was fun. I rewatched the game uh, against Marcus when I was playing IG and mm -hmm. flatlined him in five yeah. minutes. It was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Mushin Doombug is no joke. No. Oh, there's the second one. Uh oh. There we go. So he's got two breaking news scored, and we saw the news team in his, or the news cycle in his hand. And here's Chris digging for a blast. <laughs> and this is when you just start drawing cards yeah. as a shaper. There's really no, yeah, because you're not running imp or anything like that. So exactly. As Anarch, normally the strategy would be get into HQ, trash out the stuff that's going to kill you, but we really don't have that option as shapers. So right, you just got to dig. And I know most people are only running one plascrete these days. Mm -hmm. So even if you have a lot of draw power, it's not looking fantastic. And as harpsichord, you can't just run past them right. unless you have film critics up. And it looks like yeah, it's just drawing, drawing, drawing. I don't know what else you can really I, do. You just, you just <laughs> dig. You just dig and, yeah. and hope. You, yeah, hope he hasn't drawn yeah. into the kill pieces yet. Um, he knows that he has the news cycle, right. but you have to draw into you know multiple kill pieces beyond that. And he hasn't been drawing really aggressively. He hasn't mm -hmm. hit Jackson yet or anything like that. 
He did have a diesel in his opening hand. I don't remember if he played yeah, it he or not. Yeah, he diesel a couple turns ago. And pitching all of his icebreakers. Because yeah. you're expecting, what, like three Data Raven, two... Now, the nice thing about that that Pitchfork variant of, of Haley, where you've got the artist colonies, is you can definitely, at, at a, you know, instant speed, mm-hmm. grab your Plascrete. <laughs> right. So... And then if you have fan site for that, it's going to be triggering a lot yeah, because oh, yeah. breaking news oh, yeah. are coming down 15 minutes. Yep. Yeah, the the Pitchfork Haley, this is a very, very good matchup. Okay, so yeah, a consequence of drawing mountains of cards is you have to ditch a ton of cards. But I guess, yeah, things like icebreakers don't it, really matter. You're looking for one card at this point, yes. <laughs> and hoping he doesn't have the. Uh, oh, and he package. scores the what is that? Uh, profiteering. Profiteering off the table. Yeah, you don't care about them breaking your ice, so give them all the bad pub in the world. Exactly, and you take a ton of cash yes. for it. So now mid seasons actually is back on the table. Mm-hmm. Not that he'll necessarily need to go for it, but I'm not sure if he's running like psychographics or anything. It might give him another out. No, not with not with two uh, breaking news on the table. He can easily twenty four seven recycle yeah. and. <laughs> Quality timing. It's got to be in there somewhere, right? Dig, 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 dig. Now, at some point, a lot of these Nexus decks were running a trade-in to go grab Nexus oh, really? or, like, go grab Plascrete. Okay. Uh, I don't know if Chris is using that because outside of, like, very edge cases, it's usually a pretty bad card. Um, yeah, I, I definitely tried a, a mm-hmm. Nexus Kate build, and I, I, I did not try the trade-in. Yeah. That's definitely something that... Yeah. Be, uh, the only time I found it really to work out is against kill decks like mm-hmm. this. Like investing that much to go grab Nexus usually yep. puts you in such a large hole that it's not worth it. More money. More money. Yeah, I mean, it's also almost at this point. I mean, if I was Kevin, I think I'd just be drawing for the kill at this point. Like, yeah. You don't need any more money. No. You don't. Chris is obviously not running because he's just digging for Plascrete, which actually, in the kind of the time that Kevin's been drawing for it, Chris could have been poking R and D. Yeah. I guess. Harpsichord, it's going to take a while. Like, if given the number of turns he's had, he could have gone for it, perhaps. The the times that have been most successful against Harpsichord have been, you know, when I when I play a little bit more aggressively. Yeah, and you can and, and, get tr- on top and try of to get those those agendas scored, you know, faster than they can get their kill pieces. Uh, it did look like Kevin I step HQ with a little engine, or oh yeah, we did so, see a little engine off an access earlier. So yeah. he does need a real icebreaker. Yeah. Ooh, and that's, another score. <laughs> so he's, he could be getting there the hard way. He's got four points. So even if he never draws the kill, he could just one point at a time for it. It happens. It happens. Um, recent tournament, I played Harpsichord kill and uh, did not win on a kill at all. Really? Yeah. Wow. That is impressive. <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah, threat of kill, though, is it's like playing yes. Willen in the old days. It's exactly. You, just, you didn't even need to have the kill in hand, but yep. the idea of it is more threatening. Which, speak, speaking of kind of the whale and kill strategy that used to exist, 24-7 news cycle does bother me a little bit. The fact that it's, like, completely not interactive. Yes. That, like, there's no... If you can score your agendas, there's no way to really stop it. Exactly. I, I, I definitely... It's a card that... You know, it, 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 I don't know. It, it doesn't need to be yellow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're a whale and card, yeah. I'd, be, exactly. I'd be happy. Exactly. The, the yellow's got so many ways to just tag you and yeah. giving them another easier way to do yeah. it just right. didn't make any sense. Yeah. Again, it's one of those things like, oh, everybody's complaining about Faust and Anarch and that. And that it's not yeah. really one card. It's a combination of cards right. and yes. sort of faction strategy and all of that. So it's an install and advance. Okay. So basically just come get it, bro. Yeah. That, that's either a come get. I would almost think it might be um, Shattered Remains, too. I know a lot of the the kills were running a Shattered Remains. I'm not sure if he was using it at this tournament, but at this point, there's no, almost no reason not to just no. go run that. No. <laughs> like, you're going to die when he draws exactly. the right stuff anyway. Uh, and poor Chris is still digging and unable oh. to find that Plascrete. Yeah, still. And there's no way to tutor for it outside of, like, you're no. saying, trade-in or something yeah. like that. Well, there's an RDI. I don't know if he's going to put that down. Yeah, it's almost There's no cash. Yeah, so. he's in such a hole at this point. Yeah. He, he didn't install Nexus because that'll eventually let him kind of 
if that, assuming that's a data mm-hmm. raven or something on R&D, yeah. you'll let him bypass that. Now, how did he install that? He modded it in. So oh, okay. Kate plus modded lets him pop it in. For and, free, yep. yeah. Okay. And so tech raiders are still ticking up. So at some point, he'll have money to make an attack. But mm-hmm. it's getting to that point where <laughs> yeah. it's almost too late. And dump. Okay, we did see he has quality time in hand for next turn, I think. So And the deck is pretty thin. At, oh, okay. Well, there it has. He, he got it. <laughs> Sack the profiteering. Take the tags. The traffic, traffic accident, accident and and scorch yeah, scorch earth and that's game. the game. Wow, <laughs> he got it up ready and that was yeah. the shattered remains. You were oh, correct. it was shattered remains. Okay, yes. tricksy, tricksy. So yeah, Chris just kind of maybe played a little too passively there. Um, once he knew that he was kind of up against it, maybe make just some poking runs. You're already gonna end Agreed. up tag. Yeah. You know he has news team in hand. Um, and you're going to end up tagged, so what's a few more tags at that point? That's correct. Uh, but anyway, the game goes to Kevin, and uh, we'll be moving on to the second game of this round. So we'll see you guys soon.